This? Mm. Well, we already poured it in, see? That's how you would pour it. Mm. This is Pisco Capel. Are you going to say, like, hello? No, it's malts. No. It's not malts, it's Pisco. Uh, uh. Alright, let's smell this one. Hmm. Yeah, thanks. You want to smell it? Not so close, not so close. What do you think it smells like? The way. Garlic, like, huh? Wait a second. Mm. It's kind of like lime, juicy, kind of sour. And wait the sour. Yeah, and it's kind of earthy. It's way too Kind it's, of like a tequila. It's, like a, it's way too like earthbound. A light tequila. It's like earthbound? I doubt that's true. Let's, let's taste it quick. Nope. Oh, that some mints left. Hmm. Where are you going? I'm just getting those mints left. All right, hurry up, hurry up back. It's not that bad. Whoa. It doesn't have a whole lot of grapiness or sweetness to it. Bring it up here. It's kind of chalky, actually. It's way soft. Chalky, a little sweet. It's way soft. It actually reminds me more of a whiskey than a pisco. It's All right. way soft. Thanks. Are you going to pay attention? Because we're going to do the bar sole pisco now. You ready for it? Mm-hmm. All right. Hmm. You want to smell it? Not so close. What does it smell like? Garlic. They can't all smell like garlic. This is kind of more like a perfume. It's flowery. And a little bit fruity. Nah, not fruity. But there's a little bit of grape in there. Oh, jeez. Why did you say oh, jeez? It's, uh... Hmm. Why did you say oh, jeez? It's not vegetable flavor. But it's kind of, I don't know, it's like eating the skin of the grapes. It's got some peanuts, planty flavor <laughs> to it. You, I bet it's tea. It's planty. That's how I'll describe that. All right, now the Pisco Porton, your favorite bottle. You ready for this one? Everything smells like garlic, huh? Mmm, jeez. What did you say jeez about? This is like if you took a, if you had a, a plant and you cut the stem in half and we're smelling the inside of the stem, that's what this smells like. It's super, super inside of a plant smell. Let's try it. But snow. We should try it. Too late, I did. Hmm. It's got a nice sourness to it. It's still got that planty, grassy, earthy flavor. But it's got some. Hmm. Some sweetness builds after time. Some grapey sweetness. It's kind of nice. Which one's your favorite, Pisco, out of these three? What do you think? One Pisco. Which one? One. I will, I like that bottle. You like this bottle? Mm hmm How about the smell? Which one do you like best? Which smell do you like best? Garlic. <laughs> and they all smelled like garlic, so you like them all? Mm hmm mm. Yeah. I think they're all actually unique. Maybe worth buying in their own ways.
These are a lot cheaper, so these are probably better for cocktails. Well, they're all fine for cocktails. This maybe is going to be a little too strong for cocktails, I think. A little too flavorful. Let's make a peace door cocktail. Yeah, we're going to do that next, okay? With this. Yeah. Do you want to try these two yet, or should we wave goodbye? No. You don't want to try them? You do want to try them or don't? I do. You do? Okay. So since you said you wanted five, this is... Mm -hmm. I forgot what this even is. Oh, yeah, grappa. Oh, God. Why? Oh, God. Not so... Not, you, you can't go so close, buddy. Stop it. Stop mm -hmm. it! Stop it, stop it! It. You're just being a turd. I'm not and you a fogged turd. up my glass. It's all foggy now. <laughs> Gross. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Ugh. Yeah. This is. Yikes. Yikes. This is like if you were in the spring and you were cutting, like plants, pruning them. Ready. And you just got your face Ready, in. Ready, stout. That's what this smells like. Ready, stout. No, that's for the cocktail. All right, let's try it. It's for the whiskey. It's for the whiskey, Daddy. Ready? Steady? Oh, God. Oh, God. Mm. There was some grape that came in at the end that was actually pretty good. Actually, it's getting better now. But it was just super, like, bitter and planty. What's at the beginning. bitter? Bitter? Mm. Bitter's bitter. I don't know. Nigai. Yeah, so that one's pretty weird. That's maybe closest to this Pisco Porton. Now we'll try the Syrah Vodka, which is distilled from grapes. Could I put it? Ooh. I'm going close this time. Not so, no. We're going to have to stop if you keep going close. Right there. There's a good... Uh, too. It smells like still garlic. Still garlic? Mmm. This has got some like vanilla, really fresh. There's a little bit of a grapey thing in there. Probably some citrus too. Very different from all this other stuff. It's also ironically the most grapey out of all of these. It's basically just grapes and then some citrus. What's great? What's grapes? You don't know what grapes are? No. Hmm. I'll find you a picture, okay? Hmm. Yeah. It's pretty good. I don't know. Maybe the Syrah Vodka is closest to the Barsol Pisco. Would be my guess. Okay. We're through them all. Goodbye, Maltium Smoltz. <laughs> Why don't you say goodbye something Pisco? Goodbye, Pisco, Mom. Goodbye, Pisco, Mom.